video is an overview of the vent settings and programming for the Bartlett Instrument Climate Loss Controller. Both the Natural Ventilation Model, or RWL, shown here, and the Fan Louver, or GHK model, have proportional outputs available. Therefore, this video can be used to program either type of model you have. In the Natural Ventilation Model, you have four proportional outputs, vent a, B, C, and D. In the GHK model, you can have up to two proportional outputs, vent C and D, depending on your auxiliary board configuration. Right now, you can see the natural ventilation model with all four vents on the status page. At a glance, you can see the vent label, so vent A, B, C, and D. You can see the vent mode, so this is vent D in 5-step, and vent A is in PID. And you can see the vent status. The status bar will have a blue background, like vent C here, if it is active. And it will show the open percentage if it is active or inactive. Vent C here is an example of an actively open vent. This vent is open currently to 40%. Let's press one of the vents to see and edit the setting details. On the vent settings page, you can see the mode, step, open time, weather override, threshold time, and the step open percentage table. For any of the modes, you should first program the open time and the threshold time. The open time is the total time it takes for that vent to open completely. Currently, vent D is configured to have an open time of 200 seconds. The threshold time, configured in minutes, is the time the vent will wait for the temperature to regulate before it will change to another open percentage. For example, if the temperature is warm enough to open to step one, it will open and then wait one minute before it decides if it should open further to step two. Let's discuss the different modes your vent can have there is off, manually open, five step, and PID. Currently, this vent is in five step, so let's discuss that mode first. In the five step mode, the vent uses each of the manually configured open percentages and the step size to determine how far to open the vent. Let's give an example. The set point is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The step size is 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, if the temperature rises to 81 degrees, the vent will open to step 1, or 10%. If it rises 4 more degrees, it will go to step 2, 16%. 4 more degrees will open to step 3, 28%. 4 more to step 4, or 50%, and four more, will, the vent will open completely to 99%. Five-step mode is a good mode if you want to control each step percentage. Let's discuss the difference between five-step and PID. PID mode stands for Proportional, Integral, and Derivative, which is a mathematical way of determining how far to open a vent. In this mode, calculations are performed every minute. The current percentage open will be modified according to three conditions. If the temperature is rising or falling, if the temperature is above or below the vent set point, and according to how long the temperature has been at its current reading. To prevent unnecessary movement, the controller will only move the vent when the accumulated change will result 
in at least seven seconds of motor runtime. In PID mode, you still need to set the step size. You also need to set the initial opening or step one, 10%. Step five is the maximum amount of opening for the vent. Currently, this is 99%. You can click the number and edit this if you'd like it to be a lower percentage. In PID mode, step two, three, and four are disregarded. Step one and five are used as guardrails. And then the controller automatically adjusts the open percentage based on the calculations for PID. Let's demonstrate how you can manually open the vent. When you choose the manually open mode, it opens to that manual open percentage. When you manually open the controller, you get a manual open percentage. Right now we'll set it to 9%. And if you return to the home screen, you can see that the mode is manual and the status is 9%. If you manually open the controller, it will use the on to auto time to reset the vent to the previous mode PID or five step after the on to auto time expires. The on to auto time can be found in the settings menu. Currently our on to auto time is one minute. Therefore, vent D will return to PID mode after one minute expires. The final thing to overview on the vent settings page is the weather override. These settings allow each individual vent to adjust and respond to external factors, wind and rain. You can press the yes or no text to toggle if the vent will respond to each individual alarm. In this instance, vent D, the vent we've been adjusting, will respond to both the rain, wind one, and wind two alarm. If you are wondering what the wind one and wind two alarm means, those are two individual alarms you can configure for high and low speeds and direction in the Weather Boss controller. If you would like to learn more about the Weather Boss controller, please visit our website or look at other YouTube videos that overview the Weather Boss configuration. Vent D will respond to both rain and wind alarms. If either the rain or wind alarm is triggered, Vent D will close to the first step, or 10%. In the Climate Boss, you can split the control into two zones. You can do this by going to Menu, Settings, Scroll down to the bottom to number of zones. Right now we have one zone, but if we split it into two zones, our vents are also split by zone. In this model, the natural ventilation model, each zone will have two proportional outputs or two separate vent configurations. Zone one will use vent A and vent C. Zone two will use vent B and vent D. In the fan louver models, you can have up to two vents. This depends on your auxiliary board configuration. Press menu, configuration, auxiliary board. It defaults to not installed, but you can, if you have the C edition, you can save that. And then you will see vent C and vent D. If you have this controller split into two zones, these vents will be split by zone. Vent D is for zone two, and vent C for zone one. 
This concludes an overview of event programming with the Climate Boss. If you have any other questions, please refer to our manuals online, social media channels, or sign up for our e-newsletter where we overview common questions, controller features, and more. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you.